Around Cleveland, brought to you by Spitzer Auto World. Life is hard, car buying shouldn't be. Hey everyone, welcome back to The List. I'm Donna Rucco. It's the Monday night football game heard around the city, but the Browns weren't playing. Brian McAlatton has the three stories lighting up Twitter around Cleveland. At number one, fearless play by McCoy that Whedon for the moment would stay in. It may not be the Monday night football game Cleveland was hoping for, but Browns fans were glued to the Washington-Dallas game. With Tony Romo injured in the third and Kirk Cousins out, hashtag Whedon versus McCoy took on a life of its own on Twitter. With tweets like, I don't think ESPN signed up for a battle of Browns cast-offs at quarterback, and don't ruin this for us, Romo. Don't spoil this battle of titans. But if that wasn't great enough... Hi, I'm Brady Quinn. It was also Brady Quinn's 30th birthday. At number two... For three! When the Cavaliers shoot a three-point shot, they plant a tree for us. The program Threes for Trees partners the Cavs with local ISA arborists. And the Sam Miller Park is just one of the places in Cleveland where you can see trees planted by the team. On this particular site, they planted 113 trees. From pears to red buds, those three pointers are helping to revitalize our city. There's a lot of benefits to trees. There's social benefits, community benefits, the economic benefits, and the environmental benefits. And number three, suburbia. Business Insider released their list of 50 best suburbs in America, and Ohio dominated the list with 13. Three of those are right here in Northeast Ohio. Kirtland, Hudson, and Monroe Falls all made the list of best suburbs for reasons like reasonable cost of living, good schools, and low crime rates. Now you're caught up and clued in around Cleveland. Around Cleveland, brought to you by Spitzer Auto World. Life is hard, car buying shouldn't be.